I've had good results with the oblong antenna on two meters. A full wavelength loop twice as high as it is wide. That gives an impedance of 50 ohms, handy for direct connection to 50 ohm coax cable. Viewers have tried the antenna and have had equally good results. I can't be bothered going portable, so here I am at home to try the bigger version for 10 and 6 meters. To support the antenna, I'm using two pieces of timber doweling. It needs to be about 1.8 meters end to end. I had shorter lengths only, so I've just got this tubing to act as an extension. Though if you wanted to make this a serious portable antenna, you might just have two lengths of about 90 or 95 centimeters, and they can join in the middle using this cross piece. The loop is one sixth of a wavelength wide and one third of a wavelength tall. First of all, I got a length of twin speaker cable, a bit over three meters, and connected it to this SO239. One side to the inner, the other side to the outer. I then split the cable all the way. That three meters of cable provides six meters of wire. In other words, one full wavelength on 50 megahertz. That's where I'll try the loop first. So now I've temporarily twisted the far ends. That will be fine for my test on 50 megahertz. I might need to make it shorter. Then if I want 28 megahertz, I'd need to make it longer, attaching another piece of wire. This is the top, just over a meter. The overhang is for when I try 28 megahertz later on. Because with this installation, the rod goes right through this cross piece, I've attached another piece here for the pole to go through. If I was doing this permanently, I'd have a second cross piece and use cable ties. Instead, I'm just using insulating tape, hoping it will hold. Only took 10 minutes. Here's a quick rough version of the six meter loop. I'll thread this bit on the pole and have the lower bit which is where the feed line connects to, down here, like that. Here's my first attempt on the analyzer. Center frequency is 49 megahertz. But there's a nice clean drop. So it's pretty good. I just need to cut a bit of wire off and it will be fine for six meters. With a few centimeters chopped off, it's now resonant exactly where we want it to be. 50.2 megahertz in the middle of the SSB and digital portion of the band. The amount of wire on the loop is exactly 6 metres perimeter, 1 metre wide and 2 metres high. That's the VK5 RBV beacon. And there's a little bit of a null. Station works, that's the main thing. So um, anyway, you've got to keep it on and uh, listen out for those stations because uh, they are there. When they're there, they're really strong. And when they're not, the band's just like it is at the moment. Alright, I'll be leaving you to it, I'll come back and do some work. VK3QA, VK3FS. FT8 is not my favourite digital mode. 
of the digital modes, I prefer JS8, but it's handy for testing antennas and there's a lot of stations that leave their gear on so you can see where your signal has been received, even if they're not present in the shack. Having proved its success on six meters, now time to add some more wire for 10 meters. For 28 megahertz, we add 4.7 meters of wire, giving a total of 10.7 meters, 1.78 meters across the top and bottom, and 3.56 meters tall. That is a little bit too short with a center of 29.050. So it should really be about 10.8 metres total, 1.8 metres across the top, and 3.6 metres tall. Just had a contact on 10 meters FT8 with VK4CZ. Just to summarize, the oblong loop antenna is a good choice not only for 2 meters but also 6 and 10 meters as well. For those bands, you could build basically the same antenna, just have an extra 4.8 meters of wire on 10 meters and that will allow you coverage of that band. You just clip or connect it to the full wavelength on 6 meters and away you go. Wouldn't take very long to change bands at all. You can use lightweight 9 millimeter diameter timber dowling to support the antenna. It's 1.8 meters but if that's too long for you to carry you could always split it up into two sections of 90 centimetres and use a plastic joiner like irrigation tubing or similar to join up both halves. And you can get reasonable height if you mount it on a fishing pole.